day's coming. Repent, 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 and be converted, every one of you, that you might have your sins blotted out. That times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord. Time is short. Christ is coming back. The Bible says He's going to slay the ungodly. He's going to destroy the sinners and transgressors. He's going to uproot them out of the earth. The Bible says hell and damnation. The Bible says you're going to scream, you're going to weep, you're going to gnash your teeth. God's going to judge you for your sin. You're going to burn in eternal like a fire if you don't repent and believe the gospel. Hellfire is real. The devil's real. The devil's going to kill you. And God's going to judge you in righteousness. So unless you repent, sinner, you're going to the lake of fire. You're, you have a judgment day coming. Christ is coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. These shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. Christ taught us that few people make it to heaven. He said the way to heaven is straight and narrow and few people find it. You're going to burn in the lake of fire unless you repent, sinner. Christ was sent that you might repent and believe. Christ was sent that you might be made new. Through the blood of Jesus, you can be made new. You can be forgiven. You can be set free. You can have an eternal home in heaven. It's time to wake up. Awaken unto righteousness and sin not. I speak this to your shame. For some of you do not have the knowledge of God. The lake of fire is your future. You know why? Because you're a drunkard. You're an enemy of God because your wicked works. You're a pervert. You have sex outside of marriage. That will cost you your soul. Unless you turn to Christ, you will go to the lake of fire. Just open up the Bible. It's all right there, ladies and gentlemen. The King James Bible will judge you in the last day. The Bible says that unless you repent, repent unless you, you will all likewise perish. What does repent mean? That means stop being a drunkard. Stop being a sinner and be a saint. Turn from your evil ways. Because God doesn't want to put you in hell, but He will. He will judge you and put you in hell. If you are a whore, if you're a whoremonger, if you're a child of the devil, the Bible says he that commits sin is of the devil. If you're of the devil, you're going to burn with the devil. You're going to scream forever with the devil. But whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he's born of God. You need to be born again. Jesus said, unless a man is born again, he will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. The Bible says, unless you repent, you will go to the lake of fire. Why do you want to go to the lake of fire? Jesus made a way. Do you know what you're doing? Jesus made a way for you to repent. Jesus he made a way for you to be a new creature. you got to come out of sin. You are crazy living in your sin. You are crazy living in your sin. You need Jesus on the inside. You need Jesus to change you. You need Jesus. That's why he died. He died to change you. Drunkards go to hell. No, no having fun in hell. Only screaming, weeping, gnashing your teeth. That's your future, sinner. You better live it up. You better have fun because you're going to burn in hell. You. You're going to burn in hell. Unless you repent. Turn or burn. Turn to Christ while you still can. Judgment day is coming. Judgment day is coming. That's why we're here. The wrath of God is coming for you. The eternal wrath of God is coming for you, sinner. And we're here to warn you. The Bible says, warning every man, teaching every man in all wisdom, that we might present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Because it's all fun and games until you burn in hell. It's all fun and games until you wake up in hell. Yes, you're going to scream. You are going to weep. You are going to wail. That's your future, sinner. It's time to get right with God. It's time to repent of your evil ways. God says, why don't you turn and live? Repent and be converted, every one of you. Repent and be converted. Not a drunkard. Drunkards go to hell. You're going to hell. You're going to hell, sinner. You're drunk. you got to get sober. The Bible says be sober. Repent. Don't go to hell. Get right with God. No joking in hell. No fun in hell. No parties in hell. Only screaming. Only darkness. Only gnashing your teeth. 
Bible says the smoke of their torment will arise forever and ever. We're here that you might escape hell. We're here that you might come out of your sin. Sin sends you to hell. Sin is transgression of God's law. You're breaking God's law. You're an enemy of God. Yes, you are. You're burned there. And, you, and you'll be in eternal darkness. You'll be alone. You will have nobody and you will burn forever. You will burn in the lake of fire forever. No Catholics. No Catholics. Scarface is in hell. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. You better get right with God. He's the only way to heaven. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. No one gets to the heaven but by Jesus. Nobody gets to heaven but by Jesus. Oh, I know that you're of the world because you have pirate stuff on you. You're of the world. He said, if, he said do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. See, you love the pirates. You love the buccaneers. You don't love God. Yes, you can't, you can't serve God and the devil. The Bible says, Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin. He said, By this we know the children of God and the children of the devil. Whoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. So if you're not doing righteousness, you're not of God. Yes, you have to do righteousness, the Bible says, to be of God. The Bible says, Whosoever abides in Him does not commit sin. You're committing sin because you're not abiding in Christ. You're a child of the devil. Your, your future is hellfire unless you repent and get right with God. Turn to Christ. It's only by the blood of Christ that you can be forgiven. It's only through the blood of His cross that you can come back to Jesus. Come back to Jesus while you still can, man. You're going to die and burn in hell. You're going to die and burn hell, you wicked devil. You don't love Jesus. You're a fake Christian. You. You're, you're, you're full of pride. Full of pride. Repent. Repent. God's trying to wake you sinners up today. The Bible says, For we must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. You're going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. You're going to be judged by God, man. Prepare to meet God. Prepare to meet God. Why do you hate God? Prepare to meet thy God. For we must all stand before the judgment seat of Christ to receive the things done in the body according to what he has done whether good or evil god's trying to save you god's trying to pull you out of the fire you're going to hell man god's trying to save you you got you you're a drunkard you're you're a drunkard you don't have jesus on the inside you're, you're a frat boy you're a frat boy you need to be a jesus boy you need to be a child of god you need to be sanctified by the blood of jesus you need to be sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. The Bible says, Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolater, nor adulterer, nor homosexual, nor sodomite, nor thief, nor covetous, nor drunkard, nor reviler, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, God will judge whoremongers and whores. God will judge. Don't be a whore. Be a, be a uh, respectable woman. Be a respectable woman. Dress modestly, the Bible says. Yes, you don't want men to just use you and throw you away. You want to save yourself for a good man. Save yourself for a man that loves God, that obeys God. The Bible says, this is the love of God that you keep His commandments and His commandments are not grievous. you got to keep God's commandments. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Yes, you're Sin will be your ruin. Be sure that your sin will find you out. Your sin will be your ruin. Today is the day of salvation. Don't harden your heart. Get right with God. You're going to burn in hell with your friends. You're going to burn in hell and scream forever. Unless you repent. You wicked, wicked, wicked. Put some clothes on. Quit dressing like a whore. Jesus is coming back to judge your life. Repent, old pervert. Repent and get right with God. Before your sin is your ruin. The Bible says, Turn every one of you from your evil way that you may live. For are not my ways fair and your ways unfair? God's saying, Is not my ways good and your ways are evil? Oh, uh, you love the devil because you'll burn with the devil. You're following the devil. You're, you're following the devil. You're going to burn with the devil. Jesus is your only hope. Repent and follow him. Repent and follow him. Don't be a wicked Catholic. Don't be a, a Buccaneers fan. Be a Jesus fan. 
Get right with God. Quit being an idolater. Quit being a Pirates fan and be a Jesus fan. Why don't you be fanatic for Jesus? Why don't you be a real Christian and go to heaven when you die? That sounds like a good idea to me. Why don't you go to heaven when you die, sinner? Why are you going to hell? Turn to Christ. You got a you got a way out through Christ. You got a way out. Why will you burn? Why will, why will you be destroyed? Oh, the, the the lust of your flesh. Guess what? You can get rid of that. You can have no desire for that cigarette. I used to smoke for 20 years. I got no desire for cigarettes. No desire. This is all foolishness. Oh, reaching out for a bead. That is so pathetic, man. That is so pathetic. Oh, that. You need Jesus. This is all nonsense. This is all passing away. But he that does the will of God will abide forever. That's what Jesus said. He that does the will of God will abide forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, do not love the world or the things in the world. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life, are not of the Father, but they are of the world, and the world is passing away in the lust thereof. But he that does the will of God will abide forever. Are you doing the will of God? Do you want to abide forever? Do you really want to go to hell? You might say that in your pride, but nobody in hell wants to be there. Hell is terrifying. The Bible says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Hell is real, people. The devil's real. He's trying to kill you. The Bible says, be sober because your adversary, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. The devil's about to kill you. You're about to go to hell. You're about to die. They're, they're going to go to your funeral. Oh, he was a good guy, but he was, a, he, guess what? Now you're in hell. Now you're in hell because you didn't live for Jesus. You wasn't trusting in Jesus. You wasn't following Jesus. Jesus said, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and be converted, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and be baptized. The Bible says, he that, he that believes shall be saved. He said, preach the gospel to every creature. He said, he that believes shall be saved. He that does not believe shall be damned. Well, you might say, well, I believe, preacher. But the Bible clearly says that if you believe, you will obey. You can't say, well, I believe there's a train coming down the track, but then you don't get out of the way of that train. There's a train of God's judgment coming down the track. A train of God's judgment coming down the track, and he's going to run you over. He's going to put you in a devil's hell. You're going to burn in the lake of fire, sinner, unless you repent. You're going to burn forever. No, you're not right with God. You're going to burn forever unless you repent. Unless you turn from your evil ways, you will go to hell. Don't love this world. Turn to Jesus, follow Jesus, obey Jesus. The Bible says he's the author of eternal salvation to all those who obey him. Only if you obey God, you're a child of the devil. And you'll burn with the devil. That's your future. You'll burn with the devil unless you repent. God preaches nothing unless but you love, repent. Baby. Love. Uh, God loves his saints. God hates all workers of iniquity. That's, hey, God will never but you can be a friend of God. You can be a friend of God. You can, come, you can come out of sin and not be a child of the devil. Jesus made a way for you through the cross. But you've got to die. The Bible says you've got to lay down your life. You've got to die to who you are. Who are you? You're a drunk, you're a cheat, you're a pervert, you're a liar. God said, I gotta crucify that guy, I gotta kill that guy. And then you become born again. You become clean on the inside. You have a you have hope, you have a future with Jesus Christ. This is this is only a sanctified mic. No, I get it. Only you gotta repent. You gotta repent. That means turn from drunkenness, turn from immodest dressing, turn from every evil way. David said, I, I kept my foot from every evil way that I might keep thy word. Yes, you've got to stop sinning. You've got to follow the way of God. Learn the way of God. Get yourself a Bible. No, I know. I read the Bible. Because you can not get abortions but still go to hell. That's not going to make you a good person. That's not going to stop you from going to hell. You need Jesus Christ to sober you up. You're a drunk. But you don't have to be a drunk. I used to be a drunk. Now I'm a saint. I've been washed. I got the power of God. I got the power of God. You can receive the power of God. The Bible says, as many as received him, he gave them the power to be the sons of God. You can receive power to be a child of God. You gotta receive power to be a Christian. You can't stay in sin and be a Christian. You'll wind up in hell. The Bible says, be a doer of the word and not a hearer only, deceiving your own self. 
My friends, if you're not doing God's work, you're going to hell. Christ came to change you. Christ came to make you a new person. Not a homosexual, not a pervert, not a porn watcher, not a witch. Yes, Jesus Christ is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. You're going to have to confess to Jesus Christ. You're going to have to confess to the King of Glory when you die. You're going to be judged and you're going to go to hell if you don't repent and believe on Jesus as this Savior, as the Son of God. Oh, it's real, man. It's real. Take a track. Oh, you got a track? All right, man. You got to repent. I'm not... I'm not buddying up with your drunkenness. Drunkards go to hell. I'm Catholic. Well, Catholics go to hell too. You need to be a born again Christian. Catholics, they still continue in sin. Jesus said you got to be born again. I don't sin. Well, you, you're 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 drunk, sir. So you do sin. You got you got to come out of drunkenness. The Bible doesn't say that. It says drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. First Corinthians chapter six, verse nine and ten. It's on this card. So read it when you sober up. Read that card. Because 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Where? verse 9 and 10. I'll do this for you because I care for your soul. Right here, 1 Corinthians, it says right here, drunkards. Drunkards right there. Drunkards, 1 Corinthians 6, 10. Look that up in your Bible. It says they will not inherit the kingdom of God. It says do not be deceived. Only the righteous shall inherit the kingdom of God. And it goes through a list of sinners. And then it says don't be deceived. They're not going to heaven. But we used to be some of those things, but we repented. And now we've been washed in the blood of Jesus. We've been sanctified. We've been sanctified. I believe. So we're no longer drunkards. We're no longer porn watchers. I believe in Satan. We're no longer under the power of Satan. Now we now we are in the power of God. How do I save myself? I believe in Satan. You have to denounce Satan and obey Jesus as your Lord and Savior. What's the first step? Repent. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said, repent or you will perish. Do I repent? Repent? No, to God. You need to get along with God. You need to cry out to God before you die in your sins. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent. That means stop being a wicked devil. Stop using women for sex. And, and, and if you're having sex outside of marriage, you don't, you don't love that girl. I'm married. You're allowed to have sex when you're married. Hey, do, do it God's way. Don't be a whore. Don't be a whoremonger. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to Christ. Oh, no, I need Jesus Christ every day. Not, the Bible says this. No. No, I, I don't do those things. I used to know those things. You can be delivered. You can be delivered. You can be delivered, my friend. Birth control. We're You're a masturbator. No, we don't believe in birth control. We believe in trusting God and having babies. How many kids do you have? We masturbator. Here's what you need to know. You've got to come out of your sin. The wages of sin is death. God will judge you in righteousness when you die. So you got to be forgiven. you got to be sanctified. Hey. Don't be a Catholic. Don't be a wicked Catholic. Be a child of God. Don't be a Catholic. Don't don't be a hypocrite Christian. You know, Jesus said you could tell a real Christian by their fruit. A real Christian don't smoke. A real Christian don't drink, get drunk. No, a real Christians obey and follow Jesus Christ. Real Christians follow and obey Jesus Christ. That's why we're here. Ah, the Bible says. No, I don't drink wine. I got. I, listen, listen, listen. Once you got Jesus on the inside, you don't. You, but not the kind of wine you drink. The kind of wine you drink gets you drunk. Hey, no, they would permit this wine. In order to get drunk, I get drunk. I the, the, the wine, the wine. Listen, listen. He likes the wine. Not the right wine. He likes to grab the wine. The wine, the, the wine used wine. to be really weak back in the day. They used to ferment it because it would make you sick. The water would make you sick a lot of times. So wine wasn't wine wasn't six percent like it is today. You'd have to you'd have to drink a ton of wine to get drunk. So if you drink a little wine and you don't get intoxicated, that's not a sin. I'm talking about if you have any kind of intoxication, you are in sin. Communion is and you're a drunkard. I respect everything you're doing. You're a jerk stop. off. Stop. All I have to say is you guys would have better results converting people to Christianity if you weren't as abrasive. Are you are you saved? Am I saved? You, you got to be born again. Jesus
Jesus said, unless Who listen, are you to say that? Well, John 3 Who are 3. You? John 3 3. I'm telling you Bible. You guys aren't true. I'm Christians. telling you Bible. You're not, you're not loving. Listen, I'm you're not loving. I'm telling you the truth. That's all loving. I can do. No, hold I, on, hold hey, on. Please I, don't touch me. I've read the Bible just like you have. You're well, not John 3 3. Listen, you're not loving. I'm telling you a Bible. You're a racist. Well, listen, I'm telling you that you're in danger of hellfire. So are you. No, I'm not. Is. Because yes, I've been are. born again. No, now I'm obeying Jesus. No, no, everyone go, everyone gets judged at the time of death. You're not Yes, I'm gonna be judged, but I have to I have to endure to the end. So, Jesus so said, am I. So we're in the same But boat. if you're not born again, you have you, no chance of going you, in. How do you know what I am? Well, the Bible says this. No, you don't know what I've done. You don't know my actions. Well, my friend said you're a Catholic. Yes. Catholics are not born again. Right. You can be a Catholic and you can, you can be a great person. So you can talk to my friend. Listen, I, I'm here to preach to everybody. Your friend. Repent. You, you guys, you guys are just a bunch of people on the side of the street being abrasive to people. Well, listen, we care for your soul. Yes, so Nobody's going to so tell you the truth but so the street preacher. The street preacher. The street preacher. Hey, just be loving. The Bible right. says well, to be this. loving. You're, you're, thank you. He, but just he be loving. for your soul. Stop. Stop. No, no, no. You will go to hell if you do that. Ignore if you sin as much as you ignore them. All right, all right, all right. You can be set free. All I'm saying is that you would get better results if you're more loving. I, I respect right. what you guys are doing. Well, you gotta be set free. I, That's okay. right. You be set free, I'll be set free. No. Just, just okay. be more loving. Well, obey your Bible. Read your Bible every day. Ten minutes, we're gonna go break down. Ten minutes. Read your Bible every day. Jesus is coming back. No drunkard will inherit the kingdom of God. It's time to get right with God. It's time to think about your soul. Judgment Day is coming, and you're going to hell fire if you don't have Jesus Christ as your Savior. Oh, don't be a witch. Don't do witchcraft. Be a child of God. Witches go to hell. Witches burn forever. Turn to Jesus Christ while you still can. While there's breath in your lungs, you don't know when you're going to die. Get right with the Holy God. Have mercy. Have peace through Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus, you can be, be a friend of God. You can repent and be a friend of God. You can turn from your evil ways and turn to Jesus Christ. And come out of your drunkenness. You know you don't have no peace. No peace for the wicked, says my God. No peace for the wicked, says my God. Dress like a, a lady. Don't dress like a whore. Yes, that's a whore. You want to know what a whore is? Dress like a lady. What is wrong with you people? Turn to Christ while you still can. Uh, value your body, ladies. Value yourself. Quit dressing like whores. What is wrong with you people? Jesus is going to judge you. You can't live any way you want. God's angry with the wicked every day. God's going to burn you in eternal fire unless you repent. We're here to warn you. God's angry with you, Tampa Bay. God sent you about a hundred street preachers to tell you, you're going to burn in hell very soon. You're going to burn and scream forever. Yes, you drunkard. No drunkard will inherit the kingdom of God. I came to shake you and tell you, God's not scared of you, sinner. He said, I'll punish you to your face. He's going to punish the wicked to your face. He's going to take you and put you in a place where you are punished forever. Punished forever. You will never get out of hell. You will never get out of hell. You will burn with the wrath of Almighty God. You will burn. Oh, I don't want you to burn. Turn to Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, quit dressing like a whore. Quit being a whoremonger. Quit turning, turning the grace of God into lewdness. A lot of you think you're Christians, but you're false converts. The Bible says hypocrites will be cut in two and given their portion in the lake of fire. You're going to the lake of fire, man. Jesus Christ is your only hope. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're a fake Christian. You probably think it's okay to be gay, but God said they'll go to hell. Oh, man, why don't you stand with Jesus? Why don't you stand on, on the, the way of love, the way of truth? And quit being a man pleaser. Quit being a, a homo supporter. Yeah, hypocrite, hypocrite, hypocrite. Jesus said, beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. Hypocrites ain't going to heaven. If you say you're a Christian, you've got to live in the Spirit. And you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Live in the Spirit, sinner, and you will not fulfill the lust of your flesh. Oh, you can't stop drinking, but Jesus can set you free. You can't stop looking at porn, but Jesus can set you free. Oh, yeah, you need the real Jesus. Not the Catholic Jesus, not the American Jesus. You need the Jesus of the King James Bible. The Jesus of the Bible is the King of...
of glory. He's your creator. He's your creator. Get to know God. Why don't you open up a Bible? It changes everybody's life because this is the Word of God, if you believe it. The Word of God. There's no other name given under heaven by which men can be saved. But that name, Jesus. That's why they, they hate Him. Because he's, he's the Lord of glory. Oh yeah, you're going to bow. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And He died for the sins of all men, not just black men. Not just white men. Not just red men. He died for the sins of the whole world. That whosoever believes in Him. Oh, you can, you, you can come out. You, you can have the real deal. You can be the real deal. He, he, can, he can take you from being a fool and take you to be a respectable man of God. And take you to the center. Because it's all fun and games, man, until you wake up in hell. It's all fun and games until you wake up screaming and you can't get out. You can't get out of hell, man. You can never get out. And you'll be screaming at the top of your lungs forever. 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 And, and there'll be nobody there with you because you can't see anything and there's no... You're isolated. See, God's going to isolate you forever, sinner. God's going to isolate you in hellfire and burn you because you're wicked and you hate Jesus Christ, His Son. That's why you're a homo. Because you hate Jesus Christ. You hate God. But God's going to put you in hell unless you repent. God's going to put you in hell fire unless you repent. God's going to punish you people. You love the world, you're going to die with the world, you're going to burn with the devil. You're going to burn, burn, burn. Burn! Burn, burn! God's going to use you as kindling. Unless you don't. Unless you repent, man. Jesus is the only escape route. Repent and believe in Him. Repent. Cry out to God. Cry out to Jesus Christ if you want mercy. Oh. Cry out to Jesus Christ if you want mercy. Because the only one that's going to be sorry is the sinner and the transgressor. That's who's going to be sorry. Don't die and go to hell with Tampa Bay. Don't die and go to hell with all these wicked people. You can be separate. The Bible says, come out from among them, be separate. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, saith the Lord. You shall be my sons and daughters, and I will be your God. You want to, you want to have a real God? Come out from among them and quit being wicked. Quit touching the unclean thing, and God will be your God. But don't be deceived. God ain't for you if you're in sin. You're an enemy of God in your sin. You're a friend of the world. You got those beads on. You ain't no Christian. Why don't you come out and stand with Christ? Why don't you come out and stand with Jesus Christ and be a real man? Stand up for what's right. Be a real man. Don't stand with the world. Don't be a man pleaser. Be a God pleaser. Be a God pleaser. We have eternal life. We have peace with God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, you're not a you're not a girl. Quit dressing like that. Dress like a man. That's a shame. That's a shame. God made you to be a man. He has a future for your life, and it's not to be a homo. It's to be a child of God. Child of God. That's your that was that's what God created you for. God created you to be a child of God. Not to be a homo, not to be a pervert, not to be a drunk. Not to be a pirate supporter. Shame on you. Shame on you, people. Wake up, sinner. Wake up, God's going to get you. He's taking an account of your life. And judgment day is coming. Repent. Repent and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why you still can. Why you still can. Because every action, the Bible says, fear God. And keep His commandments. For God will bring every work into judgment, including every secret thing, whether good or evil. God's going to judge you. The Bible says every work will be brought into judgment. Every work you do, sinner, everything you do in this life, God's going to bring it up into judgment. You better get saved. You better know Jesus. You better know Jesus, or you're forever going to be in hell. Oh, it's all fun and games, man. Until you wake up screaming in the lake of fire. Until you wake up screaming in hell fire. Yes! Hell fire is real. Judgment day is coming. You're not good enough to get to heaven. 
You're a wicked Catholic. That's why you love this event. You're a wicked Catholic. Uh, you need the Jesus of the Bible. You need to be born again. You need to be set free. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. The Bible says the, the Lord is known by the judgment He executes. God wiped out the whole world with water the first time. And He's going to wipe out the, the whole world by fire the second time. Oh, He's going to wipe out the whole world by fire. Do you know what that is? Cleansing fire to cleanse, cleanse the earth of all the wicked people. You got to come under the blood. You got to get saved, man. You got to get saved. The proud will be cut down like grass. That's what God says. The proud. You know what God says? He said He's going to cut the tongue of the wicked out. Man, I don't want your tongue to be cut out. I really don't. I wouldn't waste my time out here if I didn't care for you. I, I value your soul. Repent, sinner. What's wrong with you people? Dress like whores, get drunk. Like You live like there's no God in heaven. You live like there's no God in heaven. There's a God in heaven that's going to judge you and put you in a devil's hell. You're going to be put in hell, sinner. You're not, you're not God. You've got to submit to God if you want to go to His kingdom. Submit to God. Fake Christians everywhere, loving the world, partaking with the world. You mixed in with the world. You are defiled with the world. Come out from among them and be separate. God's talking to you. You, you might be dying sooner than you think, sinner. God's trying to wake you up. Judgment day is coming. Judgment day is coming. Christ will slay the wicked. He's the only Savior. The Bible says there's one God able to save and able to destroy. There's one lawgiver. There's one mediator. He's the Son of God. He's the God of glory. And without Him, you have no hope. Without Jesus Christ, you can do nothing to be saved. He's manifested in the King James Bible. we got to tell you about His anger and His wrath so that you, could, might, you might receive His mercy. Maybe if you come in and repent. But He's going to shake His head at, at you and say, Depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. I never knew you. That's real, man. The Bible's real. The devil's real. God's real. And He has a standard for you to live. You got to be forgiven through the cross of Jesus Christ, and then you got to live for Christ in the Spirit. The Bible says if we if we walk in the Spirit, we will not live in the flesh. We will not live in sin. Are you living in sin? That means you're a child of God. Hey, go to heaven, man. Why do you want to go to hell? Hellfire's coming, sinner. Hellfire's your future. Hellfire's your your people's future. Christ is your only hope, man. You're going to die and wake up in hell and never be able to get out. That's your future. Oh, yeah. God's going to... He said, I kill, I make alive. You know God said, I kill, I make alive? When God says enough, enough, you're done. You could die tonight. I, I, I want you to fear God. I want you to know God. Oh, He's so peaceful and, and good, but He's also a terror to the wicked. He's also a nightmare to the evil. Because He's so good. He's, he's going to be your nightmare forever. Or He'll be your wonderful counselor. Your mighty God. See, I want you to know the good side of God. I don't want you to know the bad side of God. I want you to know the good side of God. But you won't have it. You won't listen. You will not listen to God. You're going to continue on in your evil way and be destroyed. Unless you turn to Jesus Christ. Unless you surrender your way to God's way. My friend, you are not going into the kingdom of heaven. Take off those beads. Yeah, you. You too, yes. You're going to hell, man. If you died right now, you would go to hell. You need to be sanctified. For heaven's sakes, listen to God, people. Listen to the Word of God. Get yourself a Bible. The Bible changed my life. The Word of God changed my life. Amen. And it can change your life. King James Bible is the Word of God. Oh, trust in the Bible. Come out of sin, come out of drunkenness. No drunkard will go to heaven. I don't want to. Oh, that's why you're burning hell. You got to come out of your sin and follow Jesus. Then you won't want these things anymore. God bless you in the name of Jesus.